Hey, it wasn't the day everybody just is first on news. I'm Joe Borden. It's going to be a preview to our struggling in the month of February this far. Lehigh Valley Phantom against the Hershey Bears. They played the Hershey Bears twice this weekend. So this will be a video that we preview tonight and Sunday's game because it's going to be pretty much the same line for maybe a few different tweaks. And then tomorrow I'll do a video on Wilkes-Barre Scranton. But let's get right into it. Please continue to subscribe down below to help us get the 200 by the end of February or up above on the easy-to-use widget. The Bears are 3-1-1 one and one, um, in the loss category. Our Phantoms have been good against the Bears this year, according to the Phantoms, 3-6-5 at, in the head-to-head. -head. Uh, the 23-13-3-3, and three, though, um, record the Hershey Bears are a better team than our Lehigh Valley Phantoms as a whole this year. It's just the Phantoms themselves have played the Hershey Bears well. In other words, the goals for are 131 to the Phantoms only having 108, and the Phantoms allow much more goals against at almost 130 at 129 to the 112 uh, for the Hershey Bears. And then the goal differentials in the positive at 19 for the Bears and to the negative with the Phantoms at negative 21. Things were trending in the right direction uh, for Lehigh Valley in the month of December as they started uh, having all the engines turning, playing a more Phantom style of hockey, finding ways to get to pucks, winning puck battles, just getting chip shots in front of the net and finding ways to, to get goals and get the dirty goals and kind of just have those Bruins as goals that they get made fun of for all the time. And any any will, there's a way to win. That's a good way to win. Uh, but right now in February, they're not really finding those ways um, and they have to get back to it. Unfortunately, Samuel Ursan got banged up again last game. He's going to be out for a minute, but Karo Ustamenko was as hot as a firecracker for the Reading Royals. And I saw the other day he got the call, so it'll be interesting to see if he gets put into a game since Garrett Melkoff is still there as well as Patty Nagel is with Team USA over in China. With, and, uh, of course, on top of Garrett Melkoff and Karo Ustamenko, we have Felix Sandstrom, who's really taking the next step this year after really already starting to come on Last year at the end of the season with that five-game run he had that carried then that momentum into this season. I think the Lehigh Valley Phantom are trending in the right direction immensely since December. This is now just a rut-in-the-road type of thing that we have in the beginning of February. We started the season really bad, so I think some fans are obviously probably going to overreact. Not the majority, but some, because we started the season so bad, so it's like, oh no, now it's going in this direction. And I kind of had those thoughts of it too. But then when I kind of really thought about it. It's not. I think this is just a little bump in the road. The team's been playing much better since December, and I think they'll start going back in that direction again, and also have the Yorks of the world, and for now, they have the Frost of the world down there to help them as well, because Radcliffe and other guys that Ian LaPere uh, helped put in the right positions to develop better than Scott Gordon did, who's more of a win the Calder type of head coach than a development one, um, than, uh, than uh, Ian LaPere is, excuse me. Oh, he, those guys have been able to develop better, so now they're probably trying to do that in turn, get a little bit more out of the more than Frost of the world. Cam York, I can't really explain to you why the hell he is in the month. But um, when it comes to playing Hershey, the Phantoms just have to play a much more defensive game like they did in December and January. They had a lot better defense where in uh, so far in February, we had a lot of sloppiness um, in play against Bridgeport, losing 4-1. to one. Uh, losing six to four against Hartford and losing five to nothing, especially against Belleville, there's really not much help for the netminders. Uh, you got to start playing more uh, defense and more well organized defense. And then we also, at the end of January, but then we answer back beating Hartford and Hershey did lose six to two to Springfield, uh, which they're a very good team. But that was another game they had too many high octane opportunities, and that's been the Phantoms' issue in that game and in the games that they've lost this far, only winning one of four in February is because their defense has been spotty, which has been a lot better of late before that. So now it has to go back to the basics to keep the game simple. Don't overthink it and try to go to the second read when the first read is actually the right option. I see the Phantoms sometimes in the in the in February here, the first couple games, kind of making too many overthought plays where they could have just made the first pass or could have just shot it, which is why they were a lot better in uh, the month of January and also in the month of December. They were able to just know not to firing pups on aimlessly, but know when to fire it on because of the traffic in front and know when to make the pass. Now they're kind of overthinking things a little bit, and I think going back to the basics is honestly the best phrase to put it um, for the way that they're going to get it done again against the Hershey Bears team. Play great defense. I expect Felix Sandstrom and or Melkoff to have a solid game. 
um, if they're both in that. Or Usti, who's been very good for the Reading Royals. If he gets the shot and gets the nod since there's three games this weekend, maybe there will be three different goaltenders put in. I think he will be playing very well as well. He was coming off a hip surgery, so people that are harsh on him, I don't agree with you at all. Because he's coming off a hip surgery, and now he's looking really good. But if you have a great channel playing today, please continue to subscribe down below. And these you do sub button or up above on the easy-to-use widget to help us get the 200 by the end of January. Really appreciate your love and support. Couldn't have do it, do it without you all. Enjoy the game, and go Phantoms.